What is going on guys? 4 and 3 bros back for another video. Today we are working on this Lamborghini aka the rub dub So what we're doing in this video is and it's no longer July so a couple things need to happen here. We need to jack up the front end, raise the coilovers so they can get their jack underneath the car to check the um, ball joints and uh, the wheel bearings and all that. So one thing, two things, the fog lights. Um, this one, as you can see, kind of looks janky. It's getting some moisture in there. I have replacement fog lights. I have replacement bulbs because these ones, one of them is flickering. And I deleted the factory front plate mount and I used some um, 5 16 push pins from AutoZone and I color match painted them. So what we're going to do is, my car is absolutely filthy. Probably looks better in the video, but it's filthy. I don't really drive this that much, so. Um, what we're going to do is, we're going to run this, this black bracket somewhere around here and uh, put our front license plate on. So, kind of have to work with us a little bit on the road noise. Um, we're at my house, so I have the road right next to me. So, well, I'm gonna get started. All right guys, so I got the front of the car um, on jack stands. That's gonna make it a lot easier for us to take the front bumper off to change out the fog lights. Um, so what I'm doing now is I have to raise the car for an inspection sticker. So in my notes that I refer to every year, I measure from the top of this collar to the bottom of the threads. And what I do is I set them to this height and then when I get a sticker I have the sticker that I the height that I go for a sticker so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, set this side and the other side to the sticker height and then what we'll do is we'll take the front bumper off to change out the crusty housings and do all that fun stuff so tons of clearance right now to get underneath there and unscrew the bumper so yeah but for now we're gonna do this Right, guys this one was a lot easier the other one was just a little bit tighter but we're all uh, four by four out over here for an inspection sticker so um while I have the wheels off I like to uh, clean the insides of the barrels um it's easier to do that now and uh, for whatever reason just went into the dealership to get some work done and the wheels were like Hercules tight, like way tight. I don't know why they fucking ran them on like, I don't know, like whether they're about to freaking cross around them or some shit, but they were tight. Definitely did not need to be that tight. Um, I don't know. Anyways, so that's the, uh, that's the unfun part that's done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start taking off the um, front bumper so we can uh, change out those fogway housings and those fogway bolts. All right guys, Tyler is here now. And um, so, we got the whole front end off quickly 
a little too quickly, but you know, I do what I do. So what we're gonna do now is, um, we're gonna uh, take out these fog lights. So my car, when I bought this thing, was a base model car. I have 15 inch stockies that are steelies with hubcaps. It didn't have fog lights, didn't have anything at all. So what I did was I bought an aftermarket kit. And when I bought the aftermarket kit at that time, they didn't come with proper brackets. So what literally everybody did on the forums until um, the newer kits came out is they literally zip tied the, the bracket on this side and there's just the two Phillips screws and some zip ties to hold it in. It works. It's been like this for four years, I think. Haven't had an issue, but the new kit um, that I bought came with all the proper brackets. So that's super cool. Um, also, while we have it apart, I have aux beam LED uh, fog lights in this. One of them started flickering and I actually reached out to them and I was still in my warranty phase. So that worked out awesome. Um, they sent me out two new replacements. So while we're doing that, we're gonna uh, drop those in with the new fog lights, the new brackets, and we're gonna uh, put the front plate on and then put it back on, clean the wheels up, put the car back together. What do you think, Tyler? Let's do this. Let's do it. Down. Oh, yeah, you gotta work so them you up. You gotta like work them up. Yeah. All right, so these are the new brackets on the back side that the original kit didn't come with, and I'm pretty happy that it's the proper bracket now and they're not kind of just rigged in there. So we also popped out these panels here because it came with new ones and why would I not take the time to put the new ones in? So Tyler's got that snapped in and we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna screw the uh, fog light housing Zach in and um, we're gonna put the new bulbs in. Yep. But we'll screw them in first then we'll put the new bulbs in. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. All right guys, the new fog lights are in. Didn't come with uh, any screws, which was kind of weird, but brackets are in good, everything's in. Fog light bulbs are in, super simple. Assemblies look much better. It actually fits a hell of a lot better. Got the new um, new garnishes here, trim garnishes. So that looks great. Next thing all we have to do is just um, put the front plate on it and put, put it on the car. All right guys, so uh, this is the bumper mocked up now. We've got the new fog lights in it. We're ready to put it back on. We also put a new plate mount on the bumper. So you wanna throw that plate up there, so. I think it's gonna go like this. Yeah, that way, you know, it'll hide the bracket that we just put on. It'll also yeah. hide the, the, tow, hook the tow hook and, and it, it, it should look pretty good. It needs, the car needs to be washed. It's dirty as shit. There's, yeah. You know, I waxed it quick a while ago and it's all over the place. <laughs>
right guys, so everything's done, ready for inspection. We've got our uh, front plate mount on. We have our new fog light assemblies in with the new bracketry and the new um, ox beam bulbs. And we have the car sitting like a goddamn monster truck in the front, ready for our monster jam. <laughs> so they can slide their jack underneath to check out the um, Ball the uh, joints. ball joints and all that stuff. That's what she looks like with the lights on. The car, the car's filthy. It's disgustingly dirty. I haven't driven it in a week. I haven't washed it in a couple weeks. But um, I'm, I gotta do really do a really good detail on it and clean the car up and do all that type of stuff. But um, yeah, really happy with these uh, fog lights. They're just replacement ones. I had some, um, I had one that was flickering, so they sent me replacements for free, so. Well, but that's what she looks like. Besides the Carolina Squat, she looks pretty, pretty damn good, so. Pretty good, she needs a good polish, but um, we'll get it looking good. Clean it all up, and we got a few car shows that we're gonna go to this yeah, year. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna do a couple videos of like a, a set car shows and stuff, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think next weekend next uh, we're weekend gonna go to Cars and Coffee and uh, was it Princeton Mass? Something like that. And then uh, there's Fieldworks. That one I'm really looking forward yeah. to. Fieldworks is the base, a Euro based meet and I have two European cars so um, maybe next year we'll get to take the cool one there. Yeah. And if we still have yeah, this then just we'll maybe. just take them both. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah I'll drive one, you'll drive the other, we'll park side by side. Yeah. Do the whole we'll have a cool whole kit and handle, man. All that stuff by then. Yeah. But um. So and then we've got one in Palmer. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, we're definitely gonna put up some videos of uh, of us at the car shows. Fieldworks, we're probably gonna put this thing in, right? Yeah, I'll spiff it up as nice as I can and throw it in Fieldworks. Um, that everyone's kind of cool there. Everyone doesn't really care yeah. that your car isn't like show show quality. It's really my paint that's not. It just needs a good polish. But, yeah. Uh, but I think that's it. That's going to do it for this one, guys. And we're sorry for the audio quality. Kind of had to do this at my house. <laughs> All my stuff was here and everything. So, but. All right, guys. Like and subscribe for more. Later.